I was already mentioning that there's restricted rotation. Unlike with sigma bonds, sigma bonds have free rotation. You hopefully remember that from when we drew Newman projections, and we would rotate the sigma bond and look for what's the lowest energy conformer. And we can always achieve the lowest energy one in a sigma bond because there's free rotation. So it can keep rotating until it finds wherever the energy minimum is. However, with pi bonds, there's a barrier to rotation. Because it forces you to break the pi bond and lose that parallel overlap as you're turning one of the carbons and then reform the pi bond in a new conformation. So what that means is that these two molecules are not the same. To convert from one to the other, I have to break this bond and rotate one of the atoms and then reform the bond. So because of that, we need to find a way to name these two different alkenes. There are two different ways to name these. One is less useful but it's sort of a simpler way, and then we'll learn a little bit more complex way. So the first one, the two R groups are on opposite sides, as this is the case here. And we say that they're trans from one another. If the two R groups are on the same side, we say that they're cis to one another. So if here is my alkene, this one and this one are on opposite sides, one above and one below. That makes them trans. Here is my alkene. Here they're both above on the same side. That makes them cis. So I have a cis alkene and a trans alkene. Now that actually only works if you have one group on each side. As the molecules get more complex, we need a different way of naming them. And then we'll use the same rules that we used for figuring out R and S, which is con angled prelog. So in that case, what you do, and I can do it with the same two molecules, is you look for highest priority. So on the left side here, I've got a carbon and I've got a hydrogen. So carbon gets priority one, hydrogen gets priority two. On the right side here, carbon is priority one, hydrogen is priority two. Now, hopefully you can see that that would work even if you have a bromine or a chlorine or hydroxides or anything else on here as well. You can use these rules. And then we compare where the two one groups are. So in this case the one groups are opposite each other. And if they're opposite each other, there's a German word for it, entgegen, which means apart, and we call this E, stereochemistry. If they're on the same side as each other, so here's one on this one and here's one on this side, remember two over here was the hydrogen, two over here was the hydrogen. So now if the two groups are on the same side, that's zusamen, or together, again in German, remember entgegen means apart, so zusamen are together and we call this Z stereochemistry. So E or Z stereochemistry. Now there's a goofy saying that has helped students for years and years to learn these, and that is that if they look at this one that has Z stereochemistry, they, they said that the two high priority groups are on Z same side. It sounds kind of silly, but it can help you remember if they're on the same side, then, then it's Z stereochemistry versus E. Now if I think about these two molecules again, these molecules are actually stereoisomers of each other. Because the, the only difference is the orientation in space. But they're not mirror images. So 
So if they're stereoisomers and not mirror images, you can think of them as diastereomers. In the next section, we'll look at alkene stability. And I hope that from the things that we've already learned in class, that you can look at these two different molecules and determine which one's more stable. Remember our areas that we talked about. Acid base, resonance, electronegativity and polarity, aromaticity, and sterics. So which one of those would you use to figure out which of these two is preferred or is more stable? Sterics. It's about where things are in space. And so you have a choice. Either these two carbons can both be going the same way or on the same side, in a way eclipsed, if you like. Or they can be staggered. The one that has them apart from each other is the one that's going to be the lower energy. So this one has worse steric interactions, or more steric interactions. This one has less steric interactions.